The most news in the morning. CNN's American Morning. Weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. This week we've been looking at militias. This organization is a little bit different, uh, but they're very much a part of what is known as this growing patriot movement in this country. In the first two parts of our series, we looked at the growth of private militias in this country. Now we turn to a group whose founder says he doesn't need a militia. That's because his organization is recruiting its members right out of the military and law enforcement. Just a couple of miles off the Las Vegas Strip, inside this casino ballroom, dozens of men and women are taking the oath, an oath they say is to the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. Not, they say, to the president. If we're going to watch while our country dies and think that there's nothing we can do about it, we're wrong. They call themselves the Oath Keepers, and last month they held their first national conference. Our forefathers flew this Flag. The group's founder, Stuart Rhodes, a former Army paratrooper and staffer for Congressman Ron Paul, says his members recite a revised version of the oath that's used for enlistment in the armed services. But they exclude this phrase, I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. Our role is not to be obedient to whoever happens to be the leader. Our role is to defend the Constitution and the Republic. The Oath Keepers aren't in Vegas looking for gamblers. They're seeking out police officers, sheriff's deputies, military veterans, even active duty members of the armed forces. If you've taken an oath to protect this nation, the Oath Keepers want you. The group's website features pictures of veterans and active duty soldiers who say they've become Oath Keepers. The patch on this military uniform bears the group's name. Is the Oath Keepers a militia group? No. We don't need to be. We're the military and police. The Oath Keepers call on their members to disobey any orders, as they put it, to disarm the American people or to force citizens into detention camps. It's a pledge Rhodes recites in an anti-Obama DVD called The Fall of the Republic. Not obey orders to impose martial law. I will not obey. Mark Potok, who monitors extremist groups for the Southern Poverty Law Center, says the Oath Keepers are exploiting false rumors found on fringe websites. Many of the Oath Keepers are people who believe uh, that martial law is about to be imposed at any moment. It is right around the corner. Do you think President Obama is plotting to build detention camps in this country? I don't know. Do you think President Bush was plotting to do that? Who knows? You know, the point, the point but you don't is, have any evidence of that. There's no, no have, evidence of that. I have, no, I have no evidence that he's doing that. But Rhodes insists his group is not anti-government and not anti-Obama. So who's talking about taking anybody's guns away? So we have to wait until someone talks about it before we can say we won't do it. Brian McGuff with the Democratic-leaning veterans group VoteVets.org worries soldiers and the Oath Keepers will pick and choose which orders to follow, disrupting the chain of command. All they're doing is hurting the units. All they're doing is hurting the military, and all they're doing is hurting their friends. And they should really think about that. Critics say the Oath Keepers simply vindicate this recent report from the Department of Homeland Security that warned right-wing extremists will attempt to recruit and radicalize returning veterans. The DHS declined to comment for this story, but Rhodes blasted its report at the founding of the Oath Keepers earlier this year. When they're across the ocean serving their country, they're considered heroes. But when they come home, now they're considered potential terrorists. The group was founded in Lexington, Massachusetts, the site of the first shots fired in the American Revolution. And as for those orders, the Oath Keepers say they will not obey. We should mention there is no proof that the government is building detention camps around the country. And as we've said earlier this week in this series, there are no proposals coming from the White House or Democratic leaders in Congress for new gun control laws, John. And, and one thing that's popped up time and again, a question that our viewers have had about this series is, you know, is some of this racial? Does it have anything to do with racism? We didn't find that during this series. One thing that we did find time and again talking to these folks is that uh, President Obama seems to have inherited some issues from the Bush administration that many libertarians, many folks in this so-called patriot movement don't like. Things like uh, the, the bailout, uh, things like the Patriot Act. So in many ways, President Obama is inheriting problems with these groups uh, that he got uh, from the Bush administration. But there's a lot of what if going on here as well. You know, what, if, what if gun control? What, 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 what if martial law? What if they disrupt the chain of command? Is there any proof on either side of anything going on? Absolutely none whatsoever. Uh, and, and these groups will admit that. They'll say as much. They say, but we want to stop these things before they happen. But at the same time, the question has to be asked, are they planting seeds in people's minds uh, that uh, these things could develop when really there's no likelihood that any of this is going to happen?